for 62 episodes, Elites. A long time. Every single episode up until this point, mostly. This has been the head of operations, the chief honcho, the, the big boy, the, the, the boss of the world. This base over here has been the one and only. But today, oi, today, that all changes. Elites, if I told you I was crying right now, would you believe me? If I really, really insisted that I was crying, I promised that I was crying, would you believe me? If he answered yes, well, you're a fool. I, I tricked you. I'm not crying right now, believe it or not. But it is kind of an emotional day. Welcome back, though, to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 63. So today, we are officially heading out from the base. The food has finished cooking, which means it's time. It's time to fly away to a very, very far place. So... Uh, the Ocean Monument Project, that thing that we started a long time ago, well, I've made some really, really good, big progress. So, Paul, Marco, goodbye. Pam, I will see you sometime soon. If I have any other friends over here, I can't remember them, so I guess it's not important. But we're going to go ahead and get one last aerial view of the base as we fly away. Now, um, obviously, we're not abandoning all of this. I'm being a little bit dramatic right now, but we are actually going away from this place for at least a few episodes, I think, because it is finally Ocean Monument farm time, or at least finally time to really get the ball rolling on this project. Today, we have lots of water removal to do. Now, if I'm being honest, it's a little bit more efficient to uh, travel in the nether over to the Ocean Monument. I mean, I just don't have a lot of gunpowder quite yet. I, I mean, I have this much rockets on me and I could use them in better ways. Why am I upside out over there? But yeah, not the best way, but I thought this would be the best, uh, most dramatic entrance to the project that you guys actually haven't seen in a while i've made a lot of progress on this thing off camera and also on streams but this time mainly off camera the ocean monument is ready to be drained and that is exactly what we're going to do today now today's episode is going to be a little bit different we're going to do things a little bit uh, yeah, definitely, but we'll talk about that uh, as I continue or, or as I start working on the project. So, the Ocean Monument, take a look at this thing. It is fully cut off from the outside ocean. Smooth landing right there, but yeah. Uh, and one of those guys over there, uh, they decided to to come over here. Yeah, the traders, the thanks, uh, it's great. But the Ocean Monument is, like I said, ready to be drained, but unfortunately... I am not ready to drain it because all of these sponges are wet other than these three. So we have to slide actually over into the nether up there. So I can show you a little life hack that actually, if you've been watching, I showed this off before. So I dig the cleanness of this room, but we need a little bit more space to show this thing off. Let's go ahead and just push this wall out this way. Doesn't really matter so long as we just, just basically have a little bit of room. So I have a lot of wet sponges. These are all of the sponges that we have in the world up until this point. We got more than that first style, like 33 from the second ocean monument that we raided, but uh, we, we did that on stream. So, uh, before Minecraft 1.15, if we wanted to dry these out, we would have needed a furnace and a lot of fuel. In Minecraft 1.15, all we need is the nether. So, uh, during today's episode, I'm going to do a lot of ocean draining. That means these sponges are going to be turned into wet sponges quite a bit. To drain the sponges, I'll be sliding over into the nether, placing them down, and then mining them. Now, I know Minecraft uh, 1.16 makes the hoe the official mining block for the sponge, but I'd like to see if it actually already is. I saw some confusion about that. So we punch it like that. Uh, we use the hoe. It's the exact same speed. So the hand is the way to go right now, I think. I don't think shears speed this up. Yeah, shears definitely don't either. Okay, well, I've got a random hoe and I've got extra shears. Now, I guess we'll make a chest and leave them in here. I don't really want these. Uh, okay, yeah, you got to break these by hand. What do we open up to? Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, we're going we're gonna to close that back up. So that's the life hack. That's how I'll be draining all of the sponges today. Just, just keep that in mind. If you're doing this project for yourself, you, you should definitely do this too. 
But I should probably definitely consider moving that nether portal down here because I'll be doing a lot of back and forth in today's episode for sure. Now over here, I've set up a temporary workstation. This banner is the banner that's marked on the map. The banner says Osha Monument Project because that's what it is. But uh, we can go ahead and put the map in there for now. We don't really need it. We don't need the wings either. We'll switch over to the chest plate because the guardians in here are crazy. Uh, this is the sandbox for probably sand. That would make sense. And then this one is the workbox. You just ran random stuff. Now, I went ahead and walled off the Osha Monument. We talked about this uh, a while back now, but basically we have a sand wall going all the way around the perimeter of this Osha Monument. The sand wall is placed two blocks out from the corner, or I guess three, like it's on the third block. You see down here, Osha Monument, empty, empty, third block, wall, and then wall all the way around. Now this wall is the next wall. This is the beginning of today's process. We need to remove all of the water inside of the Osha Monument and around the Ocean Monument. Today, we're just going to focus on the outside of the Ocean Monument. Then we'll do the inside of the Ocean Monument a, a little later on. Now, draining the ocean around the Ocean Monument is actually a very, very tricky and also time-consuming job. If we were to just start placing sponges, say, in here, the ocean would actually just fill right back in because that's how Minecraft water works. That means we'll need to sort of cut off this, uh, this monument or the water around the monument into smaller pieces so we can actually remove it if we were to place a sponge right in here the water is actually drained and it doesn't really come back which is exactly what we need so after you've walled off your ocean monument from the outside ocean it's time for more walls exciting right now these more walls should be three blocks out or four blocks out from your other walls so wall right here three blocks of space another wall a gap of three is the minimum that i recommend if you do a gap of two you're just wasting a lot of time you can definitely get away with a gap of four though so one two three four then the next wall goes right there all the way across i'll probably be doing gaps of four just because that's what i'm used to but i did start with a gap of three over here now we need to remove all of the water from this area over here that's where the sponges come in but first we sleep Sponges are really, really cool because they can remove water. If I place the sponge down over here, all of that water is now removed. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Today's episode is going to consist of a lot of sponge placing, just like that, sponge breaking, just like this, and then uh, more sponge placing, just like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long project, guys, because this is a big ocean. There, there's a lot to get rid of. Now, we don't have all that many sponges. We have a stack and a half about, which is nice. It could be better, but at the same time, I, I guess it could be worse. Now, obviously, sponges will only remove so much water. The sponges that I placed in here have not erased all of the water in here entirely. Because sponges only remove so much water, it's nice to have a, a good rhythm, a good pattern going. If you section the ocean around your ocean monument off into three or four wide sections, you can use this rhythm right here. We have a sponge on this wall. Next sponge goes over there on that wall, one or two blocks below the surface. Then we can go ahead and jump over to that sponge, break this sponge with our hand, and then repeat the process over here, one or two blocks below the surface, a couple blocks past the flowing water, boom, the water is pushed back even farther. Same trick, go ahead and jump over, remove the sponge, and do it again. Just don't forget to come back every once in a while and pick up these sponges. You have five minutes from when they break, so uh, yeah, don't let them despawn. If the sponges despawn, obviously you're out of a job, kind of. There is another way to remove the ocean from around the ocean monument. That method involves redstone machines. The method is nice because it's a lot more automatic, but I, I don't know. I sort of prefer the manual water removal method. I, I don't I kind of enjoy it, which is weird. Like, it's a really long process. I guarantee this is going to take up most of my day to day. But I, I mean, one, uh, seriously, what, what else am I going to do right now? And two, I don't know. It's, it's kind of nice. It's kind of calming. That's why I like Minecraft, like the whole grindy vibe. I don't know. I just kind of enjoy it. So... Uh, my plan here today is to go ahead and actually remove this first section, then we'll talk about the second section. Then after that, probably a big Q&A segment with also some other important things that I'd like to talk about. So, I'm going to go ahead and repeat this method over and over and over again until this section is drained, so we can talk about the next one, then uh, we'll go from there.
Oh, right, elites, I've made great, great progress. Section one is pretty much entirely drained now, all the way down past the, I guess, the top part of the monument. So, uh, personally, I recommend just not worrying about this lower area, uh, at least right now. You can finish this part uh, a little later on. Now, one thing that I realized that I uh, kind of forgot to say is don't get trapped down here. Remember scaffolding or extra building blocks or something because if you don't, uh, you're going to have to break one of the sand walls and let water pour in. And yep, basically won't be good. But section one, done. Now, uh, section two. But before I do section two, I need a whole lot more sand because unfortunately, that sand wall has to stay right now. Eventually, we'll be at a point where we can basically take one sand wall down and move it over. That point will happen after we drain section two. But yep, uh, until we drain that section, we're gonna need a lot more sand. So let's go ahead and grab the elytra. I'd like to show you guys where I've been getting my sand from. The sandbox, you can definitely come with me and we'll leave. Uh, the chest plate there, and then this and that there as well. And I mean, we might as well leave the sponges here too. We don't need them where we're going. So, uh, I've been collecting all of my sand from a desert that is located right over here. When you're taking on an ocean monument farm project, it's a good idea to consider the surroundings. If you have an ocean monument that is right next to a desert, then that would be a great ocean monument to turn into a farm because uh, obviously you need a lot of sand for this project. It, it takes a lot of sand. And for this project, I've been getting most of my sand mostly from over here. So when starting the project, I did use a little bit of sand from the original mob farm that we built way back in like episode 11. But uh, after that, I started just digging up deserts around the ocean monument. Initially, I was going way, way, way to the south, like way down by the, the brown banner at the bottom. But I've kind of decided to not go all the way that way and just to go over here instead. I'm not really worried about keeping this desert looking good. I definitely will never build anything over here, so I'm not worried about it. I'll just rip it all up. I've been actually saving the cactus and the dead bushes, though, because I, I mean, well, I, I guess because you never know, even though I will probably never need those as well. Now, the plan here is to fill this sandbox all the way back up so I have way more than enough sand. If I'm being honest, this is probably good right now. Maybe it would be close, but uh, I'd like to have way, way, way more than enough. So just so I have more than enough. Um, no further reasoning, really. <laughs> uh, but time for me to dig up a bunch of sand, then I'll catch you guys back over at the Ocean Monument. Oi, Guardians, no, not today, not today. You will not target me today. You'll target me once once you're in your farm, which means you won't target me. But uh, we're back over here at the Ocean Monument. The sandbox is full, which means it is definitely sand time. So uh, time for me to go over here. This time we're gonna do a four wide section. Basically, uh, what I need to do is stand here and place sand. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and swim down here and remove any kelp that may be in the way and uh, seagrass as well. If I don't do this, uh, the, the sand will never place. It'll just drop down on the stuff. Won't be good. Uh, I, I am also remembering I maybe should have brought my conduit with me uh, over to this build because, I mean, if I am under the water, I'll get increased uh, breaking and mining speed, which is cool. But at the same time, I guess it's not that important uh, because I'll mostly be out of the water today removing it. Anyways, time for a sand wall. This will definitely take some time. Little tip for uh, placing here. If you crouch right on the edge of the, the sand and then you get your cursor as far down as possible. So right there. Uh, if you just hold down the place button, it seems to be a little quicker than placing like up here and waiting for the sand to fall. I don't know, little life hack. It's not much, but if you can cut out a little bit of time here and there, then in the long run, that little bit of time will definitely add up because this is a big, big project. All right, well, section number two has been walled off. So that means it's draining time. So we'll start right here 
and then we'll alternate walls there 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 you know all the way down by the way also did move the nether portal down there i skipped the corners not my proudest moment at all that's for sure not not, not my best moment but I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanted to leave that platform up there so I can go up there and take a look at the project from time to time. Thought that would be kind of cool. But, uh, yep, I've got lots more draining to do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drain this section before I begin the time lapse because there is one more thing that I would like to show you guys. And to show you guys, I, I have to drain this section. So, a uh, time lapse soon. Just soon, soon, very soon. But for now, lots of draining <laughs> wish me luck by the way on these four wide sections it might be a little bit smarter uh to go only one block below the surface instead of two uh, it just tends to work a little bit better alternate walls for sure Oh boy, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for torches because this section has been drained pretty much all the way. Now, torches. What are, what are the torches for? Well, the torches are for this right here. So, now that both of these two sections are drained, we can actually take the wall down in between them and use this wall over on the next section. So, section three. So, uh, that is basically the entirety of today's project. Now, uh, just for reference, I've already spent about an hour on this project, and I, I have two sections done, a tiny bit of the ocean monument uncovered, but I did start on the biggest chunk, so the front is deeper than the back, because you know how an ocean monument is kind of like a pyramid, it, it gets higher up on the back, uh, that means the walls won't be as, um, as, as tall, you know, on the backside, so uh that'll be okay the the end will be a little bit shorter than the beginning but uh if i'm being honest not by too much now again i will come back uh later on probably near the end of the episode and work on these other sections draining the underside of the ocean monument is a whole lot different well it's not that different than doing the top it, it is a little different though but yeah, time for me to take the wall down, time for me to re-put the wall up on the other side of this wall, and uh, definitely time for me to sleep as well. So let's just go ahead and go this way over to the scaffolding, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a nap and then get to work in... Uh, yeah, the next Minecraft day. But for the most part, that is actually the whole ocean monument draining process. So, uh, I am going to go ahead and flip things over to a time lapse here now, answer a bunch of your questions, talk about some of my own stuff, cool things like that. I'll keep track of about how many hours I spent doing this for reference, and I'll show that at the end. I might come back in with some random cuts here and there, talking about uh, updates and things, but. I guess we'll see. But uh, anyways, time left time. Hope you enjoy. All right, gamers, you know what time it is. It's Q&A time lapse time, but actually, is it actually? No, it's it's not actually Q&A time lapse time quite yet. That'll be in a minute. First, I'd like to talk about something really, really big that I'm sure you guys would like to hear about and maybe even get to voice your opinion on. So, obviously, I, I don't even say it at this point, but society, life, it's different right now. It's, it's very weird. Uh, now, related to it, but also unrelated to that fact i've been getting the itch for something new lately like something fresh that something minecraft a brand new minecraft world or a brand new minecraft series so the minecraft guide this series right here is definitely not going anywhere we have lots of things to do and i am in love with this world super excited about it what i am considering doing is adding something else into the upload schedule maybe just once maybe twice a week that other thing, well, that's where I hit a roadblock. I genuinely don't know. So I'd actually like to ask you guys for your opinion and really what you'd like to see from me. Now, when I say new series, there are a couple conditions. This new series would not be like a, a Minecraft guide season three or something like that. It needs to be completely different. That means just a plain old regular Minecraft Let's Play is completely off the table. I also pretty much rule anything nether update related off the table as well. If I do another update let's play right now, then the content will not be as exciting once the nether update 
actually drops for everybody. So, unfortunately, no nether survival quite yet. You're gonna have to wait for that, Elites. Instead, what we could do is another hardcore Let's Play in a brand new world, maybe a modded Let's Play. I've been looking at the SCP mod. That looks really, really cool. I, I don't know. I, I have a couple of different ideas, but I'd like to hear your guys' ideas, and I'd also definitely like to know what you guys are thinking and what you'd like to see. If there's something you would like to see from me, some kind of new series, maybe you have a crazy cool idea, drop that down in the comments below, and if you see an idea that you would like to see, leave a thumbs up on that comment so it's pushed to the top. If it's pushed to the top, then I know more people want to see it, and maybe I'll consider it a little bit more. Of course, if I do the series, you'll get a nice uh, special mention in that episode one, 100% for sure. But uh, that's the big thing. Now, the Q&A time lapse. So, if you've been around this place, you know how these works. This is the tweet right here. Now I got a lot of replies this time. So, gonna pick some of the questions, answer them in this next segment while we grind out this ocean monument project. I'm recording this commentary afterwards and I gotta let you guys know, this uh, first part, it took like five hours, like crazy. And it's not even done. Um, it's crazy. Anyways, question number one is from Leah. Do I have a favorite food? So, if you asked me this maybe a year ago, it was a definite yes. I, I would have said pizza or hamburgers, because both of those things are good and, and I like them, but now I'm kind of on that, that salad grind, if I'm being honest, gamers. I have been loving salads, and it's the weirdest thing in the world, but no lie, I like crave them. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have them for lunch, and, uh, yep, I, like, crave salads now, so I guess it would be, uh, a salad. <laughs> uh, seriously, like, like, just a, a basic salad. Nothing fancy, but probably salad is my favorite food. My second favorite food would definitely be gaming. Minecraft News is wondering if I'll make a Let's Play in Minecraft Dungeons. To answer the question in short, kind of. Y yes, but, but actually no. Now, for those of you who don't know, Minecraft Dungeons is a brand new Minecraft game coming out May 26th, at, at least that's the current date, and it's something completely different. It's not like normal Minecraft, you don't drop into a world, punch a tree, do all of that stuff, it's actually a dungeon crawler game. So you're basically working your way through a dungeon, getting gear, loot, power-ups, cool things like that. I'm definitely excited for it, and I plan on making some content on it, but I don't know if I'm going to really do a Let's Play series, uh, it definitely, maybe, probably won't be called that but there will definitely be some minecraft dungeons content for sure once it releases or once i'm in the beta program unfortunately your guy did not make the cut uh big rip <laughs> liam l is wondering if i would ever consider a modded series this ties perfectly into what i was just talking about yes i would absolutely do a modded series but uh here's the catch i am not experienced with modded so it wouldn't be me like uh, you know talking about how to do things it would be me learning how to do the things which would be completely different but i think it would be really really fun in particular i've been looking at the scp uh lockdown mod i think is what it's called lately looks really really cool for those of you that don't know scps are like basically creepy creatures uh they're, they're dangerous they're cool some of them are safe uh th there's a whole mod that adds a bunch of them in it looks really really fun heavily considering a modded series right now honest it just depends on your guys feedback all right elite so cutting back in here from that time lapse i have made a lot of progress on this project it's taking a long long time but here we are currently. We are sitting at just about halfway done, I would say. The whole front half of the monument has been drained, and it looks really, really, really cool. Now, I did go ahead and drain the uh, the entrance area, too. That space right there. I don't know if I'm going to do the underside of the monument today or not. Still haven't decided quite yet. Just sort of depends on, I guess, how much longer things take, but... Now it's time for me to start working on this stretch of the monument. Now this stretch will actually be a little bit easier because the monument comes up a whole lot closer to the surface of the ocean, which is really, really nice. I think, like, if we're talking about water blocks that I have to remove today, I would be way over halfway done because that side, like, the front area has, a, it gets really, really deep in some places, whereas the back side, like I mentioned earlier briefly, it, it doesn't get as deep. Like, it goes back down a little bit, but I don't think anywhere near as far down as the front. 
I, at, at least in the center for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm making lots of progress on the project. That's just taken a long, long time, but it's okay. I've actually just sort of been watching YouTube while I'm working on this project, watching uh, actually some SCP mod gameplay. So this one pretty fun, pretty nice, pretty chill, pretty relaxing, but Yep, just wanted to let you know that I am now officially about halfway done. So either I'll continue the time lapse now, or I'll go ahead and jump cut over towards the end of the project. Not too sure what I'll do quite yet, but either way, I'll uh, be back in a minute. Oh boy, I wonder, I really, really wonder what Waddles will do. Will the time lapse continue, or will the jump cut happen? Oh wait, it looks like we're in the middle of a time lapse. <laughs> uh, that's right, we're gonna go ahead and come back in here with some more questions. So thank you everybody who always asks these questions. I love it, it makes it super, super fun. So uh, the next question is a really, really good question from Hey Look Brian. The question is, how are you staying healthy with everything going on? I need some motivation here. So everything going on, obviously the quarantine, Quarantine is uh, necessary, but not very fun at all. I have a couple big quarantine pointers right here, so let's go ahead and get the fancy music. Welcome to Surviving Quarantine with your boy Waddles. I hope you enjoyed the intro music, and uh, let's swing it over to our guy, Waddles, with quarantine tip number one. Take note, elites, take note. Quarantine pointer number one, walk around your house. Uh, so... To stay active, I walk around my house. <laughs> my house is not the biggest, but I mean, I can walk in it. So, yep, that kind of works to stay active. Like, I don't know, no lie, being serious here, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Thing number two, memes. I find that I've been looking at more memes the longer this quarantine goes on, and it looks like this quarantine is going to continue to go on uh, for more time. So unfortunately, I will uh, be prescribing myself a whole lot more memes. N no joke. I don't know, it's this all stressful and the memes definitely are helping. The next thing that I'm doing to try and stay positive through the quarantine is watch The Office. I've actually never finished The Office all the way, so I restarted it, well not restarted, I resumed it, trying to work on it, maybe I'll finish it, probably not. And then finally, the other big thing is YouTube. I've been looking for some new, fresh series to just kind of binge and watch. You know, just trying to, again, keep my mind busy, occupied. That would be nice. So, yep, just kind of watching things, walking around my house, and looking at memes. Not very exciting, but the memes are fun, so that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, quarantine life is... Not exciting, but super, super grateful that I do still get to make the videos for you guys. I am so, so thankful for all of you. And that's it for today's episode of Surviving Quarantine with Waddles. Let's go back to that Q&A time lapse. Stufany asks the spicy question, what is your favorite Italian dish? Uh, definitely macaroni and cheese. Is that Italian? <laughs> with ketchup. Bree, like many, many other people, is wondering what happened to the Hardcore series. So, um, the Hardcore world that we were playing in, you know, the, like the end of last year, the beginning of this year, Michael, the great people, uh, it's not over, but it's also kind of over now. I didn't really know what to do after the dragon fight, couldn't find the inspiration to really take on the wither or anything like that, kind of just ran out of ideas and was really focused on the Minecraft guide world, this current world, so I don't know. I would kind of say that it's over right now, but then again, will I release a random video? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I, I don't know where the hardcore world is. The next question is from Christian. The question is, what recording software do I use? So I record with an Elgato game capture and I do my audio with Audacity. Audacity is free, game capture isn't free, but I really, really do like the game capture. It does everything that I need it to beautifully, if I do say so myself. The next question is from my guy, the general, Okoto Kuzumoto. The question is, does the new basalt creation, Lava Lake Paving Machine, El Mango came up with invalidate the addition of striders, in my own opinion? Uh, the answer, in short, no. The Lava Lake paving machines are really, really cool and maybe will be a whole lot more efficient and practical when it comes to Lava Lake travel, 
but striders are striders they're awesome i mean if i'm being honest the strider is one of my favorite minecraft mobs already they're really really cool so no the striders aren't useless but lava lake paving machines might be a more efficient way to go the next question is from Louisiana Vader. The question relates to one of my Instagram stories. The question was basically, am I getting bored of this world? Absolutely not. I, I mentioned it earlier on, but I just wanted to reiterate that, no, I'm not bored of this world. I love it. it, it it's amazing. And for now, we'll wrap things up with this Animal Crossing question from Neve. The question, Timmy or Tommy? Uh, the answer, whichever one is more talkative. I can't remember their names, I'm really bad with names, and I mean, it doesn't help that they look identical, but the one that talks more is my favorite, so whichever one that one is. <laughs> now on a related side note, absolutely loving Animal Crossing, it's so fun, this is my first Animal Crossing, and it's great, it's amazing. I've failed you, big time, I've failed you, day number 898, I, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it yesterday, I did not finish the clearing of the Osha Monument, but day two and I am still at it, we've made a lot of progress, I hope you guys enjoyed that nice, long, fun time lapse, and uh, yep, I've got a little bit more to do, so I, I counted here, I have one more section here, then two, then three, then four, so four sections left, the monument monument is clearly mostly drained now uncovered which is a really really nice sight because i've spent a lot of hours on this project but i am not quite done quite uh quite yet now i have made the executive decision to probably not do the bottom of the monument in this episode but we will get it done it will be done sooner or later just, a uh, yeah, probably not in this episode. I kind of need to finish this episode uh, so I can get the next ones uh, made, you know, so I don't fall behind. So, uh, yep, I just sort of wanted to come back in and give you a progress update day two now. And uh, the build is almost done. I'm definitely done with the time lapses for this episode, though. I feel like you guys have seen enough, and I don't really want to bore you with just a bunch of time lapsey stuff. So the time lapses are done. I'll go ahead and finish up this build and then jump cut magically uh, into the future. Here I am. Picture me, you know, finishing up the project, and then I hear the noise. Yes, uh, you. You have made your way all the way out again to the Ocean Monument. Thank you for your your beautiful uh, overcharging uh, wandering trader. This is amazing. This is amazing, Steve. We're gonna break you in. We need your help. Uh, I am sorry, wandering trader. I am not interested in your business. Go ahead, climb, climb. You do it. You do it. Let's see how good of a swimmer you really are. Are those boots working for you? Are they working for you? They kind of are, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Llama friends, do you, are you, are we friends? Oh, we're friends. Hi, buddies. Uh, you guys get to live here. Now, this is your house. Yours, all of it. All, all of the space for the llamas. Uh, ha. Uh, well, thank you for, uh, visiting, Wandering Trader, but I have a little bit more work to do. I don't feel bad about anything that I've done. I, I gotta be honest, elites. I don't feel bad. I would do it again. 10 hours, uh, 10 hours, elites. That is the amount of time that I have spent draining the ocean around this monument. Oh boy, that is a big, big project. We are now on day 912 in this world, but would you take a look at this? I would say, personally, that all of this work is going to definitely be worth it, and it kind of already is. I mean, this is an ocean monument with no water around it. You really get to see the beauty of the structure and the color changing on the prismarine. It's like really, really noticeable once you remove all of the water around this thing. Now, the only block missing from this structure is right there at the top. That's when we, I, I think we snuck out of this place, but, uh, yep, this is what an ocean monument looks like without water around it. Now, I did go ahead and drain the edges here, too, so if I were to fall from here, that would pretty much be game over for me. That would be really, really bad, so I, I definitely need to be careful. Now, there is still, uh, water inside of the, oh, no, oh, oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, did I make that? Oh my gosh, I've been playing too long. I've been playing way too long. Uh, there's water in the monument still. There's water under the monument still. Uh, we'll remove it later. Oh, my. um, yeah, I, I'm gonna. I, I shouldn't have taken that water away. Oh, oh wow, uh, that was terrifying. That that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in terms of the stuff, we have this much kelp, and then this much like prismarine, and I actually have a puffer fish as well. I think that's from a guardian. Not 100% sure though. Sandbox full all the way, and then over here, bunch of boats. Over here, uh, even more sand inside of our workbox. We definitely need to stop back at the base uh, next episode or before next episode or something because that's a lot of sand. But we actually might end up using some of it over here, so maybe not. Lots Lots of kelp as well but uh there's one final thing that i would like to do before we end the episode and that is definitely go up to this platform and take a look at the ocean monument from the sky from like y117 yeah wow this is a big big strong structure elites i love it though it looks really really cool and i guarantee that this I mean, I would think it would show up on the map by now because it's fully drained. Uh, where's the platform? Uh, a little bit more. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about falling, you know, now. But Ocean Monument, boom, top down. That's what it looks like now. But at least that is actually going to be just about it for this episode of the Minecraft Guide. Now, next episode, I actually have something a little bit different, a little special planned, so keep your eyes out for that. It definitely relates to this project. It's a step that I feel that I need to take, but at the same time, it's a little bit different. You you'll see soon. Today, I would like to send a big thank Thank you a big shout out to my patron ground crazy may thank you very much for all of the support thank you all for watching like subscribe comment links in the description merch below the video go have a good one elites until next time it's me your boy waddles i'll see you around goodbye